and go. Hello, and welcome once again to Mystery Pier Books. It's always a pleasure for Louis and I to be able to share with you some of these literary treasures. And I know we do it all too rarely, but it's always um, it's a great joy for us to be able to do this. We, Louis and I were talking this morning about uh, a highly, highly collectible series of books right behind me. The true UK first editions of the James Bond books, Ian Fleming's James Bond books. They're enormously collectible, highly sought after, and they can be really pricey. Though, you know, as with any uh, collectible first edition, one needs to get the true first. In this case, of course, the true first is the British first edition. The American ones are nice, but they're not the true firsts. Um, this is You Only Live Twice. It's a beautiful copy. The most important aspect, uh, really, with any collectible uh, book, is the dust jacket. Strange that may seem to some people, um, the dust jacket. These dust jackets, um, the British ones, are done by an artist called, a late artist called Richard Chopping. And they're really, as you can see, they're terrific. They're so imaginative. They're sort of art deco, but they're really weird and modernist. And they're really, they're terrific. Um, and Richard Chopping, who designed them, ultimately went on and, uh, and wrote his own book called The Fly. Anyway, here we are. You Only Live Twice. It's a beautiful first edition. And then here we have The Man with the Golden Gun. Very, very collectible. They're all collectible, all of them. Um, there's a... Ian Fleming's signature, highly, highly desirable and very scarce. And always and this one, by the way, is also has a lady in signature by Roger Moore. Interestingly enough, when, um, when the first book, when Ian Fleming wrote the first book, Casino Royale, which is really scarce, really rare, um, he thought it was going to be destined for failure. And uh, he corresponded with a friend of his who had also written a book. And they said, well, I guess that, you know, when these books come out, there'll be one less remainder copy. Really thought it would be no good. And they are so collectible. They are so desirable. And the first ones in great condition are really rare. So there's that. Um, there's A Spy Who Loved Me. And then there's Octopussy, another beautiful copy. Now, of all of them, and of course, as I say, they're all scarce. They're all desirable. They're all highly collectible. The most collectible is, of course, the first one, Casino Royale. Um, there were not that many copies published initially. This is a clamshell box, which we've had to, to have. The, that's the book, Casino Royale. Now, there are about three of these on the market, and they average about $60,000 each. This copy is a beautiful copy. It's a really very, very nice copy. It's the true first, London, Jonathan Cape, First published in 19, uh, what is that? 53. My eyes are no good, no good anymore. 1953. Um, however, the only fault with this copy, and it's beautiful, is the back. The back is dusty and, and stained. Now, as I say, $60,000 for a true first. We're offering this one for $24,000. It's a terrific price. It's a really, really solid price. And um, if any of you have any interest, give us a call. It's not going to stay here long. So there we are. Among all the other treasures we have, that's the one we chose to talk about today. Otherwise, this whole place is filled with literary treasures. So please come in. As always, you're most welcome here. And, uh, and thank you very, very much for indulging us. Bye-bye.